Hi darling, welcome back to my channel, Alice here. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I know it's been a super long time, but I've been a busy girl. I've been in the UK for about two and a half months now and I'm planning to go back to Japan around the 1st of March after a lovely trip to the Maldives. So I am super excited for that. And I'm also very excited to be videoing again. It's always something that I feel like I miss after I don't do it for a while. Thank you for your continuous support and watching my videos. I really appreciate you. And yeah, so today I'm going to London. I have been so busy the past two and a half months. I am in the UK for a reason. Even though I can't talk about that right now, I'm very excited to share with you in the future what's going on. So yes, everything is, you know, coming to an end here now. So I'm Gonna be heading back to Japan soon but today I am going to London for the day so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to you know share a vlog with you. So I am wearing my gorgeous gold suit from Anchor Rouge and I have got my little new beautiful vintage pink Sakura Chanel which I'm so in love with of course you know how much I love my Chanel's and she goes so perfect with this outfit. She was such a lucky find. I'm so incredibly grateful to the girl who sold her to me. So thank you so much. You know who you are if you're watching this. I am about to head out to London now, so let's go. So I've just driven to the train station in my beautiful Audi. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of my little Audi. Um, it's a TT in case you didn't know. I guess this is actually officially the first vlog that I'm talking about my car, so Yes, I got an Audi TT because I learned to drive over this period in the UK. It's such a necessary skill here in the UK, especially if you live in the countryside. So yeah, I am hoping to spend a lot more time in the UK in the future. So it was absolutely necessary to learn to drive. So anyway, I'm here and I've still got about 15 minutes until the train comes. So I am just gonna chill for a little bit, but I'm so excited to go to London. I love London so much. There's always like so much fun stuff to see and do there. So sorry, I got a bit of an itch on my brow there. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I can't wait to go shopping and just look around. And I actually have another piercing booked at Maria Tash, so I'm gonna get that done today. So let's see what today has in store for us. beautiful Zimmerman pieces to try. Oh my gosh, just how precious. Oh my gosh, so cute. And a skirt and the beautiful blouse and also this matching golden set, which I think is stunning. And of course, my coordinate of the day. Look how cute this is. Oh my God. I'm actually dying, this is beautiful. And it matches so well with my hair. Oh my god, so, so stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so grand and beautiful. Look at all the bows. It's literally me in a dress. Shopping 
just sat down for a chill session in the Harrods Cafe and I already started eating without filming because I was so hungry. Um, yes, I'm going to continue shopping again in just a moment. looking so pink right now with all the pink stuff in it. Oh my god, this set is so cute. So this set is beautiful, oh my goodness. Absolutely gorgeous. But I don't like this like at all. Why would they put this on there? It's so... Mm. I mean, it's got the Burberry thing underneath, but this... It just ruins the perfectly cute scent. I've come out of Harrods now, I'm just strolling down the random streets of London <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna try and pop to Chanel in Sloan Square because I try to go to the one in Harrods and there's like an hour and a half waiting list for each one so uh, <laughs> my feet are already starting to get tired because I am wearing heels so I'm gonna check out Chanel on Sloan Street and see what I can see there and if not I'll probably head home and show you what I ended up getting but unfortunately there wasn't really so much that I wanted to, I don't know, look at. I don't, I don't think there's really much on my wish list right now. It is the second day. I am feeling a lot more energetic today. But yesterday, 
I feel like I had a little bit of an off day. I kind of feel like yesterday was just one of those days where, you know, you just don't feel 100% yourself and that's okay. Like we all have those days. It's totally fine. So I am a little bit disappointed with myself that I wasn't able to get more footage from yesterday as I'd hoped. Truth be told, it was kind of like my mood plus the fact that I was kind of getting tired uh, kind of walking around Harrods by myself. There just wasn't overly so much that I really saw that was worth videoing. I'm not sure if we're just kind of like between collections and there's just not so much stuff that I really like at the moment. There were a few pieces that I really liked like the Dolce & Gabbana bag, of course the Zimmerman pieces and I was looking really hard for the really sought after platform shoes by Valentino, but literally nowhere had them. So yesterday was a success in the respect that I did take a vlog and you know, I picked up some gorgeous pieces, but it was also kind of a flop because I wish I'd tried a little bit harder and yeah, it's probably kind of relatable for people who, you know, have anxiety and are highly sensitive, but when I'm like walking around with a camera, in Japan it's totally fine because people stare at me anyway, so if I'm holding a camera it really doesn't make much of a difference. But in the UK, because I know that, you know, holding cameras and like filming yourself just seems a bit weird here, and of course people can understand what I'm saying and, you know, in Japan they can't, so it just feels a little bit different and I felt a little bit awkward doing it too, so anyway <laughs> apology over i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i got Ta-da! so this is the first item that i got from zimmerman oh my gosh i'm so excited <laughs> i'm just so in love with this dress it's giving me well obviously it's from zimmerman so it's zimmerman vibes but it is giving me serious old school liz lisa vibes and i talk about old school liz lisa all the time because liz lisa used to be my favorite brand for like a super long time and basically that brand aesthetic was all about being like feminine and girly with florals and pink and like cuteness anyway so let's talk about Zimmerman now so look at the gorgeous details on this dress so we've got three ribbons on the sleeve here we've got another one here we've got ribbons all the way from the neck to the waistline ah, I'm just obsessed as soon as I saw this dress online I was like oh my god I need this dress in my life but I was umming and ahhing about it so hard because it's quite an expensive dress and usually my limit for clothing pieces is like a thousand pounds per clothing piece or 150,000 yen usually. But this was just too beautiful to pass up. Like I just could not. Oh, look at it flow. It's so pretty. And I own two Zimmerman dresses already so you know I kind of you know I knew my sizing and I know that I get a lot of use out of them and that the quality is amazing so this kind of material is I don't know if you can see but it's a little bit linen-y I think it has a bit of silk in it as well hence why it's quite expensive but it's a very light dress. It is almost like, I don't know, very airily and elegant. And it seems like it would be something really nice to wear in the hotter months, which I like, even though it is a long sleeve dress. But as you may know, I do love attention to detail when it comes to clothing. And I just think that, oh my gosh, the details and the print of this dress is just stunning. And let me show you with my Chanel bags because the pink that I have goes so perfectly. So this is my newest Chanel piece, which I haven't unboxed. I haven't done, you know, anything with yet because I literally just got it not that long ago. But this is the eighth series pink, the vintage. So as you can see, it's got like the absolutely golden, golden hardware. And I've just got one of the charms from Lindy's on there. I will leave a link in the description if you would like to purchase one of these beautiful um, pearl chains or you know any of her beautiful sparkly bag charms. Uh, so you can get a discount if you shop with that. However, anyway, what I was saying was this pink is like the perfect shade of pink to go with this dress. Now, I never used to be a warm pink kind of girl. Like I... I don't know, I feel like as I'm maturing, I'm just kind of like opening myself up to more colors. And warm pinks was something that I didn't really like, like the kind of orangey pinks. But if you look at this, it is very kind of like peachy toned. And this beautiful vintage bag is also kind of peachy toned. So, you know, you get the idea. Like it's, it looks super duper cute together. I think this beautiful classic flap is the perfect bag to enjoy with this dress. But yeah, let me know what you think of the dress and let me move on and show you the next item I got. Whee! So this is the next set that I got and I know, don't be shocked, it's not pink. It is actually white and gold, so it's completely unusual, I feel, actually, to what I would usually buy. But 
I don't know what it was about this, but I just really love it. And I think one thing that kind of tempted me is, well, obviously it's white and gold. So it's like two of my favorite color combinations together. I could imagine this being worn with a big floppy straw hat um, on the beach. So I think it's gonna be the perfect outfit to wear on holiday. Oh my goodness, I am so longing to go back on holiday again. It has been over two years that I haven't, you know, been on a beach holiday with totally overdue. I just thought it was very like opulent looking and I, <laughs> I thought it was just super elegant. So, you know, and I really love shorts and little tiny tops. So it just couldn't be more perfect, honestly. And it fit like a glove. It does fit really good. It's, it's weird. Usually I have to get like a, a smaller top and a larger bottom because I'm actually a UK size eight on my bust and my waist, but for my hips, I'm like a UK size 10. So it's kind of weird that I had to go for like the size 10 top and the size eight bottoms. Super unusual. The size 10 was like really baggy on me and it just looked awful. So yeah, really happy with this outfit and I cannot wait to wear it on the beach. Oh, so excited. But yeah, let me just quickly show you some of the details. So it's got like this kind of, how would I describe it? This kind of like folded effect here so this kind of like overlapped each other which I think just looks really nice and it also has like this kind of straw like effect so if you can see there it's just on the shorts it's got like the straw bit and it also matches on the hemline of the shorts as well the shorts did actually come with a belt as well which looks like this but to be honest I feel like it just makes it look too mature in a way so I would probably most likely wear it without the belt but yeah elegance it looks sophisticated um i asked for nobby's opinion and he loved it so yes let me show you the last item that i got and last here we are i got this gorgeous blouse again from zimmerman everything i got was from zimmerman um, i'm just pairing it with the skirt that i was wearing yesterday but oh my goodness as you can see this top is basically like the blouse version of the dress but in white and I think it also comes in pink as well so it's got the beautiful bows on the sleeve here and here and also all the way down the front my goodness it is such a dream and I thought you know even though it is expensive the quality is amazing and I wear white glasses all the time so you know something as cute and sophisticated as this is gonna look amazing basically with anything I want to wear it with so I'm so excited to create some outfits with this beautiful piece I was able to grab the last one and actually I got a little bit of discount because this bow is kind of like it's sewn on a little bit weirdly like too low down the bow so I, I'm gonna have to remove this and restitch on myself because as you can see it just kind of like flops there <laughs> it doesn't really sit in like this how it's supposed to so I'm gonna have to get that edited but they only had this one left in my size so I was like yes I have to get it and here we are so it's absolutely stunning and oh my gosh I just couldn't be happier with all these pieces I know that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them as I have worn my other Zimmerman items like so much so I think it's a really good investment for my closet because I can imagine wearing these for many many years to come so yes that was everything that I got and I hope you like and approve of the things that I purchased I think they're very classy very timeless pieces but yes i just want to say thank you so much for watching my video and staying tuned until the end i always appreciate those very much who stick to the end of my video so thank you i'm planning to take a vlog of my love and i's trip to the maldives so hopefully that will be the next one if not sooner so again thank you and until my next video please take care of yourself and i will see you then bye bye